Good morning, everyone. We're having coffee with the collective this morning. It's so good to have you here. We've got Sarah, my business partner of the Good Place Collective, and we have a very special guest, Megan Alton. Say hi, Megan. Hello. Excellent. We are so thrilled to have Megan here with us this morning. Some of you know her, some of you are new to Megan. So we're really excited to do the formal introduction. Uh, and Megan's someone that I met when I first came to Kelowna and she's really a magnet. And I, I enjoyed Megan when I met you. Uh, people just gravitated towards you. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get to know this human um, and what she's about. And it's just so cool. It's, I'm, it's such an honor to be interviewing you today. Um, so Megan has a really cool business um, and so in essence she um, teaches service-based business leaders, healers, teachers, and coaches how to use numerology to support true lasting transformation in their clients. And I think that's just such a beautiful thing to do and such a beautiful encapsulation um, of what it is you offer. So thank you so much for joining us, Megan. Yeah, thank thanks so much. Me. You're so welcome. And what a great introduction. Thank you so much, Lindsay. But uh, Megan, why don't you elaborate a little bit on that introduction and tell us and the rest of the group um, what that really looks like, what that means, what are you really doing uh, for your clients? What does that look like? Yeah, so numerology is a magical tool. I love it so much because it really um, brings together both kind of our logical brains as well as our intuition. Numerology gives a beautiful structure and foundation for your intuition to grow and flow. And the, one of the most powerful things that really drew me to numerology in the first place is it helps us to reveal the codes that we were born with. All of us were born with a very unique gift, with a way that we're meant to contribute, with a way that we're make to, meant to make a difference. And with any energy, there's both the um, empowered side as well as the disempowered side. And oftentimes when we're growing up or just society in general, we end up kind of getting stuck in some of the shadow aspects of our strengths. And so oftentimes when you reveal to people what their codes are and how they can embody them more effectively, it's a huge way to empower and strengthen their gifts. And in doing so, they make a much bigger difference in the world. They're not so hung up on some of their sabotages and their challenges. You can show them their blind spots. So anytime, like as a coach, if you're working with someone, and they keep coming up against the same issue over and over again, if you dive into their numerology code, you can see what that pattern is and how to overcome it by actually just saying, you know what, let's like be aware of the shadow side, be aware of the empowered side, and let's help you get into the empowered side more. And then some of those blind spots start to go away. I love that. That's so cool. I, that is so cool. Yeah, it's really, I and mean, I think you're right, because I think I, what I like about it is it, it kind of holds that space for all of it, for both sides, but kind of gives you that. And it's really, it sounds like a lot about awareness, right? It's like being aware of that shadow side and how that might be kind of getting in the way and how can we, you know, move away from that to a place of, you know, being able to be feel more empowered, especially within our businesses, I think is so important. That's really cool. Well, and I think that's so interesting too, because, you know, we often can say, we can pick out, be like, oh, I always do this or, oh, it got me again. Or how did I end up here again? Like I thought, you know, I worked on this or, you know, we try to be diligent, but I think it's, um, I think it's such a interesting concept to really, you know, it's okay. It's there. We can highlight it and, and together we can, you know, you know, have that conversation about those changes or um, the things to be aware of. Because when we can really illuminate something, um, we can also, uh, you know, really come to a conclusion as to why we tend to go that way. Um, and then that diffuses so we can move into, yeah, that's so exciting. Anyway, well, it makes so much sense. How this came up for me actually was when I was younger, all through, actually like for forever. Okay, not just when I was younger, but it started when I was younger is I was always told you talk too much, mm -hmm. right? So I don't know, you know, People listening, I'm sure you have your too much story, right? Like you're too sensitive, you talk too much, you're too this, you're too, you're too loud, you're too whatever, right? That tends to be a pretty common thing that we, you know, somehow pick up, whether it's from our family or from society or, you know, the grade two teacher or whatever, right? Uh -huh. And so I was always told I talk too much. And so for me, for years, I was working on this. I was like, okay, Megan, like learn to manage you're talking too much energy, like learn to just like pull it back a little bit, calm with it a little bit. And so like, I thought I was like doing personal growth and all of this. Mm. Whereas it's like, you know what, when I look into my code, I can see where that energy comes from and what I'm meant to do. I carry teaching energy. I meant to be a teacher. 
So my talking too much was an expression of my code and I'm not meant to deny it or minimize it. I'm meant to work with it effectively. So as soon as I could embrace that, okay, I don't talk too much. I'm a teacher. People want to hear me talk, but I need to you learn to use it masterfully. As soon as I own that, something happens in your power center where you actually become a lot more visible and magnetic to your clients. And so people see you and are able to be drawn into your work more effectively. So it's yep. both like a self tool as well as it's a tool to support your people with. Oh, I, you know, it gives me goosebumps listening to you say that. Cause I, I, it's something, you know, speaking just of like self work, that's something I just noticed lately that I've been dealing with kind of just in my own life when I find even people that are super close to me, like, you know, really close friends, like they'll kind of pull away and it's like an energetic thing. And I, I've done enough work and I know enough about self to know that it's never about the other person. It's always about coming back here. And it's interesting that you say that because I notice now it's become like so clear that when I start to feel that pull away, I kind of turn the mirror around and look inside and it's like, oh yeah, it's because of this, because same thing, I've maybe moved into that more disempowered side um, and it's actually repelling people. And so I really like that you use that um, metaphor of like a magnet because I've been experiencing it lately and I, I can relate on more of a personal level, but it's like, oh yeah. And it's, but then it's also, you know, even though I feel like I've shifted into that disempowered side, it's also then very empowering to have that awareness and recognize like, oh, cause then you, then like you say, you feel empowered cause now you have this power to change it rather than being like, oh, like what's wrong with people and da, 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 and like that external stuff that gets you nowhere. You kind of go into this internal space of like, oh, it's because I'm this and I've moved into or shifted over here. And oh, if I just shift back here into my line and my empowered side, like, oh, and then yeah, and people just come right back. And it's just so interesting. So I really, I really appreciate that metaphor because I can totally relate. And I think, yeah, once you get that awareness, it's like, whoa, it's really cool because you can feel so empowered. Yes. Yes. And I'm making me want to like write a letter to my grade two teacher and be like, look, people pay to hear me speak now. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love I that. Love it. Well, you really got me thinking about like, oh my gosh, like what have I been told? I've been told about like being like an insufferable, like know-it-all, right? Like I just think of those things and I always have something to say. I'm like, oh, oh. Oh, you know, and then this time I'm like, Lindsay, you don't need to have all the answers. Like, it's okay. So I'm curious now, like, what is that about? What does that mean? Is that, I don't know, perfectionist don't know. though. You need to do your numbers, Lindsay. Why have we oh done yet? Let's do that. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, that's so exciting. Oh, that's so exciting. Megan, tell us a little bit. I mean, you talked a little bit about, um, you know, kind of like your experience with, you know, that particular example. Um of kind of talking too much, but tell us a little bit more about your story and, you know, how did you get here? I mean, numerology and coaching and that kind of thing, like, you know, what was the journey to get where you are now? Yeah, I, I think it's kind of entertaining my journey <laughs> personally, so I love telling this story. Okay. I actually started out obsessed with business and obsessed with economics. I went to school um, and earned a business degree as well as a master's degree in economics. And I started my career working in the government doing revenue forecasting. Mm. So I would have like these massive spreadsheets of numbers and I would look at the relationship between numbers to determine what type of revenue the province was going to receive on an annual basis, right? It was a very corporate job. It was yeah. great. I loved it. Um, really enjoyed it. It was a great place to start my career. And then something started to shift when I got pregnant with my first child. So this was like maybe 12 years ago now. And as soon as I got pregnant with her, I started to realize that there was more to what I could perceive and understand than my logical brain could make sense of. I was like, how do I know these things? Like I would get these ideas and these thoughts and these feelings. And I was like, where are they coming from? And mm -hmm. couldn't contextualize it, right? <clears throat> so I moved, ended up moving back to my hometown of Kelowna as I started to grow my family and wanted to be close to my family. And I was still working in corporate at the time. Um, but then eventually I was like, this is not fulfilling me. So I left my corporate career and I started working as a business coach. And again, I'd be working with my clients, coaching them on business strategy. And I would know things about them or for them. And I was like, where is this coming from? Couldn't make sense of it because it's very academically based at the time. And so I started to study what is intuition and how does it work? And I went deep into trying to make sense of it. And I used various different modalities as I went along. And I would just continue to kind of incorporate them into my coaching practice. And 
it was like the most powerful thing to really harmonize both your logical linear brain as well as bringing your intuition on board um, so that they can work together. Like I think of it as kind of this beautiful board of directors situation where they're meant to be in support, right? They're meant to be in agreement. They're meant to collaborate. And so as I started delving into numerology more and more, people would be like, well, how do you know this? And I was like, oh, I, I ran your chart. And then just naturally progressed from there. They wanted to know more. They wanted to understand it. I became obsessed with it. I started living my entire life by my chart. And I started going deeper into just rather than just looking at personality, also looking at forecasting energy as well. And then, of course, my clients were like, can you forecast for me? <laughs> so, <laughs> of course, natural progression. And then I just started teaching it a few years ago. And people love it because it's like I can empower them. They don't need to come to me for a reading. I'll empower you to learn it yourself. Now you know it. You can do it for yourself. You can do it for your family, your clients. Like people do it for their children and their partners. Yeah. And yeah. There's so many ways you can do it. And it's like if you ever just really wish you understood how people work, like the inner workings and how people tick and what motivates them and what their struggles are, like you can get that from their code. And it's just a really beautiful way where you feel like you can relate to people's truth in a more intimate way. I love that. I love that too. You telling, you know, that you can teach people that as well. And, and I love what you said about, you know, people teaching their children. Cause I think that's really cool. Cause then you, you're empowering your children, you're empowering young minds. And then also as a parent, I mean, I'm not a parent, but as a parent, I can imagine too, that that creates a really strong relationship with your children too. Cause then you recognize that you don't want to squash those empowered sides of them. You want to encourage them. Right. But I think, you know, like well, you. parents often have this thing where they treat their different children differently and there's kind of a mixed relationship with that like should I be treating them differently or should they all be treated the same or what but if you know their codes you understand why you do it and yeah. it doesn't it's not a negative when you treat them differently yeah. you're honoring their energy right like my son he's very structured he's very step-by-step He's my middle child, but he needs everything like laid out. He needs a plan. He needs a checklist. He needs a system. Whereas my oldest, my, um, my daughter, who's older than him, my first child, she is very much flow energy. So mm -hmm. when he came along and needed all this structure, I had to like, it took me a while to really figure out how do I parent in this way? And so when I have something planned for her or something planned for him, my approach has to be completely different. And that's not a bad thing. Right? Like, oh. that's honoring their yeah I love that. Well, and I feel like that would make your son just feel um like I don't know safe in a lot of ways yeah. and thought of and like having that consideration and um yeah that's so interesting yeah that's so interesting and then you're not comparing one child to the other like you're really holding them in their own space and their own energy and and they're really receiving that that's so beautiful and so like seemingly simple so yeah. simple, so simple. <laughs> Yeah, it's very oh simple. Yeah, I love that. I love that so much. And I, I love that, you know, you're coaching people and kind of my understanding is using this like kind of numerology as a tool. And I, um, I'm really excited. I, I'm very inspired to connect with you um, myself. And, um, you know, part of, you know, being in the Good Place Collective and, and getting people together. And, you know, it's a lot of what you're talking about too, is, you know, honoring everyone's gifts, honoring, you know, where everyone's coming from, um, you know, creating that safe space and giving everyone permission to share their unique gifts and talents. And uh, you definitely uh, are a big part of that uh, community. Um, can you tell us a little bit about, you know, a big thing for us in the collective is collaboration, bringing people together, including all these incredible minds and skills. Um, just from your perspective, even as a business coach, um, you know, what does collaboration mean to you, um, Megan? Oh, collaboration is one of my biggest obsessions and passions. It is a foundational component in my business um, because I really believe that we all have innate skills and gifts. We're all meant to be like specialists. We're not meant to be good at everything. We're meant to take the area that we really that inspires us, that gives us passion, that lights us up, that gets us excited and really lean into that. Mm -hmm. And if we can do that in a space of collaboration, we can drop the fact that, you know, like I'm not good at bookkeeping and accounting. So why would I try to be average at it when right. I can just be a really good teacher? I'm going to be a really good teacher and I'm going to let someone who has, you know, that more structured energy or whatever, however that wants to show up for them, do that and then we get to both shine in our genius like that to me is one of the examples but 
also what happens is I love to reference um, Napoleon Hill's um, concept of the third mind and how I think of it is we're all colors, okay? All of us are colors. Like, so let's pretend I'm blue, okay? And if I just focus on being a really great, strong, potent, vibrant blue, then you ladies come along, okay? So Sarah, let's say you're red, okay? And you just focus on being a really strong, vibrant red. When we collaborate, we create purple. Mm. Purple did not exist until we came together. Wow. And now we have this beautiful red and this beautiful blue and this beautiful purple. And this is like this beautiful collaborative, it's like magic, it's alchemy, but yet it's so real and so tangible and we can feel it when we come together, yeah. right? Like oh we can gosh. sense that. And it's just I love it. that. I Thank love you. that. Oh my gosh. Megan, I just, I love that. I love, it's like, I feel like it's class time. You're a teacher. Okay. We, we've got our colors and when we, yeah, we're learning my together, we've, got new, we've got secondary <laughs> colors. Oh my gosh. Megan, it's been an absolute pleasure. I cannot believe the time has gone by already. Um, gosh. So for people who are viewing that are like, oh my gosh, Megan, I need to know this gal. Where can they find you? Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, I'm all over social media. So please like add me, friend me, whatever. Megan Alton. Um, I have a business page, Megan Alton. My website is meganalton.com. Uh, on Instagram, I think I'm Megan Intuitive Strategist. But if you search Megan Alton, I come up. Uh, I do have a weekly and a monthly energy forecast. So that might be something that your viewers might want to check into. It's on my Facebook page as well as my YouTube um, and I do have some numerology trainings coming up in a little while, along with some free masterclasses. So really? definitely add me if you want to learn some more about your code. Oh my awesome. gosh, that's so exciting. Oh, well, gosh, exciting. Megan, thank you so much for your time. Um, when we have the video posted, certainly, you know, put some website links or some class links in the chat so people know they can just find you easily. Um, but thank you so much for your time, Megan. You've really just been a delight. It's so good to see you again. Um, and we really appreciate you just showing up, uh, being a part of the Good Place Collective, um, you know, and really just extending your hand and that piece of like, hey, I'm open to collaborate. So come on over. So thank yeah. you so much for that. And thank you viewers for watching. We hope you enjoyed Coffee with the Collective. We'll see you next time.